Hey, what's up everybody? This is Platinum Mike with Platinum Wolves Gaming. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Arcade 1-Up Midway Classics Arcade and the Arcade Riser. So here we go. Alright, and this is what we're opening up today. This is the Arcade 1-Up At Home Arcade Midway Classics Edition. This one comes with Rampage, Gauntlet, Joust, and Defender. All of which are pretty much pretty near and dear to me. I remember going to the arcades and playing all these games and sometimes just watching other people play. Especially this one. I remember this one. That was awesome. Rampage. They had that movie and it was alright. It's not bad but that monkey was hella funny. Alright so let's go ahead and open it up. As soon as you open the box you'll see that there are the two arcade cabinet sides that are inside here and then I Three little mystery boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the arcade cabinet side here. Here's the sides. Some electronic components, wires, looks like the balls. Like the balls for the joysticks in here. This is the Joystick board. Oh, sweet. Uh, this is a joystick board. Alright. Oh, nice. Maybe this is the undercarriage. What's underneath it? Okay, these are your parts. Um, pretty much this is your cord assembly over here. These are your guide wires for your cords um, that you're gonna clip inside the cabinet. These are decorative, you can, these are gonna be last. This is gonna go to your monitor. These are spare parts just in case something breaks. And these are, here are your wooden dowels, your little pegs, and the screws that it's gonna be for your framing. These little small ones are gonna go with these right over here, this is going to be for the monitor. And these are some extra screws that you're also going to use to screw into the cabinet. Alright, so let's put this thing together. Alright, so the first thing you're going to get is the G piece. This is going to be pretty much your base. You're going to get four wooden dowels and you're going to go ahead and you're going to put them on the inside. So on the top, you're going to put on the bottom one. And towards the bottom one, you're going to put it on the top one. And you're going to do that for both sides. Alright, here we go in step two. All you're gonna do is you can get G and you're gonna go ahead and shift it towards the bottom, making sure that it goes ahead and fits in the pegs over here. Okay, what I want you, you guys want to make sure is that the line over here is gonna be towards the back. All you're gonna do is get screw letter B and just go ahead and screw it in on the side over here from the outside. On to step three. Step three is really simple. All you're gonna need is these the wooden dowels, the wooden pegs. You're also gonna need your two K's and an L, your L. And all you're really gonna do is you're gonna put the pegs in the side. And on each side, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put on the outside. Leave the middle one that's gonna be for a screw later for your K's, your K boards. And then for the L, it's gonna be the same thing. On the outside, leaving the middle one empty for the screws. And then you're just gonna go ahead and do that again on the other side. All right, step four is really easy. You're just gonna go ahead and put board K and L together with board D, which is the side of your cabinet. Screw B. And then you're just gonna go ahead, just hand screw it in a little bit. You're gonna do that the same thing for K over here and, and L. It's just to make sure that the holes are at the top. If you have the version that has these two little holes, it should be on the top on the outside. You're just gonna put it towards the top of the arcade cabinet and you're gonna go ahead and just screw them in. All right, for step five, 
All you have to do is you're going to get your C screws and your little F brackets over here, along with A, which is actually the monitor. Um, I recommend actually getting a towel and putting it face down. Depending on the service you're on, it might scratch your screen up. So just get a little towel, a little rag or something just to protect your monitor. Next, you're going to get the brackets. You're going to make sure that the flat part is going to be on the outside of the screen. Um, reason for that is you're going to actually um, affix this to the arcade cabinet itself. I like to do it loose at first and then tighten it up afterwards on both sides. You're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna do that for all four. Again, making sure that the flat part is facing out. Do not put it like this. You'll have to unscrew it all over again. Just make sure that the flat part is gonna be facing outboard, away from the center of the monitor. All right, step six is pretty easy. All you have to do is you're gonna get your monitor, piece A, you're gonna fit it into the grooves over here. Make sure that the top of the screen is at the top over here towards the end, not towards board G, or you'll put it in upside down. And put in the screws again and affix it to the arcade cabinet. All right, step seven is really simple. It's a prep step. All you're gonna do is you're gonna get your four wooden dowels. It should be the only ones that you have left. You're just gonna go ahead. You're gonna put them in the very top and the very bottom on both sides. So step eight, real short step. All you're gonna do is you're gonna get your label for your arcade one up. Whatever it is, that mine is Rampage, so it's gonna go ahead, you're gonna put that in there. There's three little holes over here. You're gonna make sure that the wooden dowels is fit right in those three. And step nine, which is this step. And all you're doing is you're gonna screw two screws into the back over here. You're gonna have the two screws. These are the screw Ds. So this is the back of the monitor. This is the arcade cabinet label at the very top that you see at all arcade cabinets. They're gonna, these screw Ds are gonna go into the holes at the top of the arcade monitor, which is board A. You're just gonna make sure that they're aligned somehow through magic. On step 10, you're just gonna pretty much get part H, which is the top of your arcade cabinet. And you're gonna make sure that the little notches here, you see the little notches? That's gonna be towards the front of your arcade cabinet. All right, step 11 is pretty simple. You're just gonna get the other side of your arcade cabinet. And you're just gonna go ahead, you're gonna place it on top. Make sure the oven's on the side, just place it on top. Make sure that all the pegs on all the boards that you put on before fit in. Step 12 is pretty easy. You're gonna get your um, C screws and you're gonna actually put them into the back of the monitor on the other side. Invincible. Oh 
you have to do is get the screw B and put it to the top on the other side, which you didn't do before. We only did one side before because we were working on the other side cabinet and just screw it in like so. Right, step 14 is super simple. You're just gonna get your game logo board here and you're just gonna slide it in to the front of your arcade cabinet. Like so. Simple, you're gonna get board J. It's the thin board. You're gonna slide it into the angle groove of the arcade cabinet right over here. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna put it on this side so that sticker's not in it. There you go. All you have to do is peel away the plastic from the LCD screen. Step 17, all you're gonna need is your, I guess your, where your joysticks are and your buttons. Pretty much your controller for your arcade cabinet. And you're just gonna put it in the front after connecting your cable, your ribbon cable here. right there. So you're gonna get your screw bees and you're gonna go ahead and screw down your controller board into the actual arcade cabinet. Make sure that the vent part is on the very bottom and a small hole over here. You can actually put the power cord that you just installed in the back of the monitor through it. And I'll be killing time like I might be a cartoon. Take it in with your life like haiku. I know we got the good vibes when pieces fall right into place. Even if I lost the money. Step 21. You're just gonna get your E screws, there should be three of them. You're just gonna go ahead and put them in the back of the board you just installed. Step 22, you're gonna get the Y cord here. It has the power cord, this is the AC adapter for it. You're just gonna plug it into the back where you put the cord through. You're gonna put your little joystick protectors here so it doesn't fit inside and then you're going to go ahead and install your joystick I guess knobs And for your final step is to enjoy your arcade one-up cabinet. <laughs>